Hello drummers, it's Rob Lifton here from drumstheword.com and welcome to this free full video song lesson where today I'm going to show you how to play the full song Kaylee by Marillion, drummed by Ian Mosley. I've got all three pages of the PDF for you to download from my website for free. Uh, every single beat, verse, groove, fill is included. Um, so go over to my website now, the link is beneath this video, and have these three pages printed out in front of you, or at least in front of you, as we go through this together. It's gonna to make things a lot easier for you to understand. This song was suggested over on my Facebook page. Uh, so if you wanna make your own song suggestions, the best place is over there. Again, the link to my page is beneath this video. Go over there, you'll see a post pinned to the top of the page. Write your song suggestions in the comments below it, and then others get to vote on it, and the most popular songs get chosen for future lessons, just like this one was um, today. And then while you're over at the website downloading this free PDF, you might want to consider signing up to become an online member where you get access to almost 650 full video song lessons, including the fully transcribed PDF drum charts, plus hundreds of other uh, video lessons as well, plus eBooks. But we'll talk more about that at the end of the lesson. So 105 BPM, nice slow tempo. Um, this song is relatively simple, it's an intermediate lesson what pushes it to the intermediate level, rather than just perhaps a beginner level, are some of the bass drum patterns that are played. Um, so we'll talk about simplifying those bass drum patterns as we get to them, because there's no reason that a beginner uh, drummer couldn't have a go at this as well. Um, but there's just enough spice in it to sort of push it up a level to the sort of more intermediate. So we come in, uh, I've written here, drums enter at eight seconds, and it starts off very simply. Uh, with the floor tom. This is actually written for four toms. There's actually one drum fill that uses all four toms, but we're talking about just using three toms or even two toms. So we start off on the floor tom. I'll use this one. One and two and three and a four. Simple as that, right, left, right, and a four. One and two and three and a four. Then straight to the open hi hat. One and two and three and a four. And one. And one. It's going to close on beat one of the next bar where we start our groove. No crash cymbal, so we get one and two and three and a four and one. And get ready with your left hand with the cross stick, because this is what we're playing for uh, the majority of the song, um, I believe the majority. And we go into our first groove, and we're playing eighth notes on the hi-hat, quarter notes, uh, sorry, uh, cross stick on beats two and four. One, two, three, four, and we get this four bar pattern. The first three bars are all identical apart from what Ian's doing with the hi-hat, and that varies a little bit through the song, but we get one and two and three and four and one and two and three and the space drum on one, two and three and four and one, two and three, four, one, two and three. That's our basic groove. In the first bar of that drum beat, you see we get our first little taste of these extra hi-hat notes on the and, uh, and then obviously rolling into beat one of the next bar. So we get one and two and three and four and a one and two and three and four and a one. So with the intro drum fill, we get one and two and three and a four and one, two and three and four and a one. One and two and three and a four and one, two and three, four, one, two and. On it goes to the next bar, where our next hi-hat variation is an open hi-hat on the and a four. One, two and three, and one, simply open close into the bass drum on bar three. Bar three, we get this two bar bass drum pattern where the bass drum rolls over from the and of beat four to the and of beat one in the last bar. So we get one and two and three and four and one and two. It goes with the song, you'll, you'll recognize it, it's the bass guitar that the bass drum follows very nicely. One and two and three and four, dun, 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 that's it. So the bass drum is following the melody in the bass guitar. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two. Then we get our first example of these rather tricky bass drum patterns um, if you're not used to them. So that last bar, obviously there's nothing on ba uh, bass drum on beat one. One, and two, three, and a. So we get and a, two sixteenth notes, two, two notes with the bass drum, and a four, and a four, e, and. And that makes it a little bit even, well, even trickier, really. Well, we got this bass drum falling in between the hi hats just after the cross stick on beat four, and a four e and and a four e and so one and two and three and a four e and one and two and three and a four e and one two three one and two three 
Probably best if you create a two bar loop with this with bars three and four. And a 40 and one. So that's the tricky part there. Da -da -da. Um, if you can't play those two bass drum notes, the and and the uh of three, just play the bass drum on the and of three. It's gonna work just as well, it won't be the same, but it'll work for the song. One and two and three and four. We get that example on the bar below it. So he does actually do that, Ian does that, where we get the bass drum simplified just with one note on the and of three. So if you look at the bar beneath it on the chart, that's actually the bar I'm playing there. One and two and three and four E. Two bar loop. One, two and three, four and one and two, three and four E. One. Create that cool sort of every third, sixteenth note pattern and four E. One. Even simpler, you could take out the bass drum on the E of beat four. You could play one, two, and three, four, and one, and two, three, and four. One, two, and three, four, and one, and two, three, and four. You could replace the bass drum with, play it on the hi-hat instead, 40 ands. Um, there's lots of different ways you could do it. It's not essential you play those bass drum patterns. They're kind of, they're not following any other melody in the song. They're very signature though, uh, very cool. So you have a go at them, but if you really can't, then leave out the double bass drum bit and play the one bass drum and then leave out the E of four as well. So um, we then go on to the next line where the pattern continues and we get um, our next example of a hi-hat variation. One and two and three and 40 and. So he does this quite a lot in the song, 40 and as well as the and a one. So 40 and. Next bar, open hi-hat on the and a four. Third bar, into the fourth bar I just showed you, it's one, two, and three, four, and one, and two, three, and four, e, and four, e, and. So before we go into verse one, let me now play that intro for you up to speed. I'll play those, those two lines without the microphone on so you can hear just the drums. Here we go. So for verse one, we're just continuing what we did for the intro. The only variations to look out for are what is what the hi-hat is doing. So in bar one, we get the 40 and pattern. Bar two, we get the open hi-hat. Bar three to bar four is our more complicated bass drum variation with the and a 40 and pattern happening at the end of the line. Second line, we get 40 and in bar one, open hi-hat on the and a four in bar two. And then bar four is the simplified version, three and four e and. And then I think it just continues with that. So line three is exactly the same as line one with its hi-hat variations. And then line four, for whatever reason, perhaps with some uh, improvisation, uh, Ian uh, swaps around bar one and bar two. So we get four and one going from bar one to bar two and four e and in bar two. So if you want to play it note for note, then look out for that, he, he, he swaps those two around. Bar four, however, going into our first chorus, we get one and two and three and a four. So it's like and a four, but we're gonna play and a four, a flam on snare drum, and a four. And then for the extra bit of notation, if you want to include it, there's actually a stepped hi-hat on the and a four afterwards. One and two and three and a four and one and one. So that's really just to keep the band in time, perhaps Ian in time as well with, with himself. But um, you know that, that's an optional thing. You can hear it on the recording if you want to include it, fine. Otherwise just play and a four, one, and then we're into our first chorus. So bars three and four there. One, two, and three, four, and one, and two, three, and a four, and one, and a four, and one. Same chorus one, up on the right symbol, our bass drum pattern um, stays the same. And I haven't written this on, on the uh, notation, but um, uh, uh, there are some improvisations with the, with the right symbol, the right hand. I think he's playing and a one a lot more than I've actually written on the chart because I couldn't be 100% sure whether I was hearing it right or not. The times I have written the and a one, as you can see on each line, there's, there's at least one bar with it, lines two, three, and four. Um, with the obvious ones, I've included it, but with the less obvious ones, I thought, well, it's, it's not really essential for the song. 
Um, he might not be playing. It's quite, the writing was quite low in the mix, especially on the version I have. Um, so what I'm trying to say is that if you're hearing an extra and or one uh, and you want to play it, fine, absolutely great. If you want to play it every bar, absolutely fine. You could do that as well. Uh, but just be aware there's some extra stuff going on there in the background that's very hard for me to work out precisely what I was doing. So rather than just give it, give you what I think he's doing, I thought I'd just give you this option uh, in this lesson to say, it's up to you. It's not essential, it's up to you. But we do get some obvious ones which I've notated. So we move to the ride cymbal, snare drum back beat on beats two and four. Very simple really. One, two and three, four, one and two. It's the same as our verse groove, but just normal snare drumming up here on the ride cymbal and some crash cymbals finally. Bar three also has that crash cymbal. And then bar four is our next variation of the bass drum pattern. So we still get the and a four E and at the end of the bar, but a rather cool idea here is in, uh, at the beginning of the bar, we get one and a two. So we get, again, going into the center on beat two as we had going into the snare drum on beat four. Same idea. That bass drum is it's still repeating that idea from the verse where we get a bass drum on the end of one, but now it's just doubling it up. And of course, you could also just simplify it by playing just the one bass drum there as well. So bar three and four, you could play one, two, and three, four, one, and two, and four E if you wanted to. But what he plays, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and a two, three, and a four E. One, two, and three, and four, one, and a two, three, and a four E. One, two, and three, four, one, and Really nice. And a two, three, and a four E. So that's what's being played in the choruses there. On to the next line. Bar two, look out for the first time I really hear it. Four and a one, going into bar three. And then bar four is the same as above. Line three has the uh, four and a one occurring in bar two. Again, same as line above. Bar four, same as line above. Line four, we get four and a one going into from bar one into bar two. That's the one I heard, so look out for that. Bar three has the extra crash symbol on bar one. And then bar four, we have our next drum fill. One and two, and that accent above beat two is just to emphasize the fact that um, Ian um, sort of crashes the ride symbol with the snare drum on beat two. So we get one and two. Bit of a louder uh, ride symbol note there on, the, on beat two with the snare drum. One and two. We then come in with our, our, our drum fill here, which includes all four toms. Very simple. Three E and a four E and. Two, 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 one. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right. So three E and a four E and. That's all it is. Now, if you haven't got four toms, then you could use three toms. You could play three E and a four E and. Just play the last three on the floor tom. If you've only got two toms, you could play three E and a four E and. Four here, three here. Split it up how you like. As long as you're going down your toms, it's gonna to sound like the song. But on the recording, Ian plays one and two and three E and a four E and one into a crash. We're then gonna play into our guitar solo, I believe. So there's last two bars there. One and two and three and four and one and two. Three E and a four E and one. One, two and three, four, one, two. Into our next section. So before we do, let me now play for you the last line of verse one so we can hear how that moves into the full chorus, all four lines. Here we go. So we basically got it now. There's only a couple of other little bits, variations, drum fills mostly that change, but the structure is there now. So guitar solo is basically the same as our chorus. We're up on the ride cymbal playing snare drum on beats two and four. 
base room on one and the and of two. In bar two, we get an open hi-hat on the and of four, so look out for that. One and two and three and four and... I came off the right symbol to play the hi-hat note on the and of one, and the four, sorry, closes on beat one, but you could also just use your left hand. You could play one and two and three and four and one. Well, you wouldn't play instead on one, but you know what I mean? You play your left hand instead of the right hand. It really doesn't matter. But yeah, if you want to play it note for note, look out for that. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, however you want to play it. Bar three has the four and a one, which I heard. One, two, and three, four, and a one. Bar two, line two, sorry, has some extra crash symbols. Following the rest of the song, the rest of the band, we get one, two, and, I think it goes with the guitar. Wheel, wheel. One, and two, and three, and four, and a one, and a little, and a one at the end of that line. Bar, sorry. And then bar three has the same. One, and two, and three, and four, and a one. Going into bar four, which is relatively simple. Bar three has just the one crash symbol. One, two, and three, four, and a one, and an and a one going there. Bar three, just the one crash. And then bar four, our next Tom drum fill, which can be a little bit tricky to count, but you've got the song to sort of memorize it instead of having to count it. We play one and two and. To come in on the floor Tom with a flam on the and of beat two. One and two and three. Then we're gonna play and four. Single high tom note, then your highest tom for four. If you've only got two toms, you could play uh, one and two and three and four, like that. But what he plays is one and two and three and four. One, one and two and three and four. Going up the toms. Play two toms, two, two floms, two floor toms there instead of the crash. One and two and three and four floms. So then we go into bridge one um, and it's a simplified version of our intro verse. We're playing just the one bass drum on beat one, one and two, and back to cross stick. No bass drums here, apart from the end of the line. So just cross stick on beats two and four, open hi-hat on the and of four of bar one, same with bar two. Look out for a surprise little extra hi-hat note in bar three. One and two and three E and four. The only time he, pl the only time he plays it on three E and. One and two and three E and four and one. Just to show the listener there's a real drummer playing it in the background. One and two and three E and four and one. And then bar four, one and two and three and a four E. We get the and a four E. The bass drum comes back in there as we move into our next verse, verse two. So one and two and three and a four E. One, two, and we're then into our first, sorry, our second verse. Right, let me now play for you guitar solo one and bridge one. Here we go. So verse two, I'm not going to waste your time by going through every single bar. Look out for the extra hi-hat notes, for the open hi-hat notes. Um, notice it, it, the, the, uh, the, the two line structure is, is continued from verse one, where we've got the and a four E in the first line and then and four E in the second line. Uh, what's, what's, there look, what's there to look out for? Um, yeah, just do, it, bars one of each line, we get four and a one for the first two lines and then four E and for lines three and four in bar one. And then going out of it, exactly the same way as we had in verse one, one and two and three and a four. Exactly the same, except this time I didn't hear an op a hi-hat being stepped on the and a four. So one and two, three and a four, one, into our next chorus. Chorus two, excuse me. Sorry, I hope you didn't hear that. <laughs> um, chorus two, exactly the same as chorus one. Look out for the crash symbol in bars one and three. We get the one and the two, three and the four E going at the, at the end of each line. Um, I'm not hearing any extra ride cymbal notes. 
Uh, but line two, the last bar of that page, slight variation, we get one and a two, fine, same as normal, but then we get three E and a four. He does this nice little turnaround with the bass drum and snare drum. Snare drum on beat three, followed by two bass drums in between the right hand. Three E and a four. So one and a two and three E and a four and one and a two and three E and a four and one and a two, three E a four, and two, three E a four, one and a two and three E. So look out for that little cool turnaround there. If you want to play it note for note, that's, that's fun to, to include. So then finally, um, page three, chorus two continued. Crash symbols on, in bars one and three, bar four, same as normal for the choruses. The last line, however, we get one and two and three and four and a one, going into, into bar two, where we play one and two and three and four, down to a, a flam snare drum on beat four on its own. One, two and three, four. Then the last two bars, we get one and two and. So off the right symbol, right hand, two, you could play two different crashes here. One and two and three, to give it some variation. And then skip beat three, down three toms, three and four and one, where the song ends. So we get one and two and three and four and one. That last line, one, two and three, four and a one and two and three, four. One and two and three and four and one. Now that we play it up to speed for you, go back to page two, I'll play the second line of chorus two at the bottom there and then all the way to the end of the song. Here we go. So I hope you enjoyed that lesson. If you've got any questions, feel free to email me, robertdrumstheword.com. Don't forget to download all three pages of the PDF for free from my website. The link is beneath this video. And like I said at the beginning, you might want to consider signing up to become an online member. And what I currently offer for £97 is a full year's online access to every single full video song lesson I've ever recorded and transcribed. And like I said, that's coming up to almost 650 full video song lessons where I teach you a song from start to finish. You get the fully transcribed PDF drum chart. And uh, like I said, I've got almost 650 famous and popular songs up on the website already. As a thank you for signing up, I give you access to hundreds more little videos teaching you many, many famous drum beats, fills, and even drum solos. I give you three eBooks containing hundreds more famous drum beats, fills, and solos. And then over the year of your subscription, you also gain instant online access to all the new material that I upload for my members. And I record new lessons every week unless I'm ill or on holiday. So you've got lots of cool stuff to look forward to over the year of your subscription. But if you've got any questions about any of that, then feel free to email me, robertdrumstheword.com. And until our next drum lesson together, toodle pip and happy drumming to you.